Do you remember the thrill of finding a stray dollar in your jeans pocket or under the couch? Well, imagine turning that dollar into 10, 50, or even $100. Sounds like a dream, right? But for Charlie Munger, one of the most brilliant investors of our time, and Warren Buffett's right-hand man, it's more of a science than a fantasy. With a career spanning decades, Munger didn't just stumble upon wealth. He meticulously built it using some critical principles. We recently unearthed a gem of a video clip where Munger shares his wisdom on growing wealth, even from small beginnings. It's like finding a map to a treasure. In this video, we'll journey through Munger's mindset, breaking down his three pivotal strategies to maximize modest sums. And the best part? These insights aren't just for Wall Street experts. They're simple, straightforward, and designed for anyone and everyone. As Munger once said, take a simple idea and take it seriously. You know, the good ideas that I've had in my life are quite few. But the lesson I can give you is a few is all you need, and don't be disappointed. And when you find the few, of course, you've got to act aggressively. That's the wonder system. So whether you've got a little or a lot, if you're keen on making your money work harder and smarter for you, you're in for a treat. So let's dive right into the wisdom of a master. Embrace the magic of smaller playgrounds. Charlie Munger, the brain behind some of Berkshire Hathaway's most genius investments, throws a curveball at our conventional beliefs. Most of us think that having more money means more power in the world of investments. Munger, however, tosses this idea on its head. Instead, he paints a picture that's a bit unexpected. Sometimes more capital can be like a heavy anchor, pulling you down rather than propelling you forward. Here's the golden nugget from Munger's treasure chest. Larger markets are like bustling bazaars where everyone's shouting and trying to grab the best deals. But what if instead you ventured into a quiet alleyway where treasures are hidden and waiting to be found? These smaller insufficient markets are your alleys, rife with overlooked opportunities. To paint a clearer picture, let's look at the world of sports. Munger compares investing to a baseball game. Think of a batter standing firm, eyes locked on the pitcher. He doesn't swing at every ball hurled his way. Instead, he waits for that perfect pitch, one he knows he can hit out of the park. That's what investing should be, waiting for the perfect opportunity that matches your strategy rather than hastily chasing every shiny object. In today's digital age, this game becomes even more exciting. Online platforms offer tools like stock screeners, which are like metal detectors for investors. You can use them to scout for those smaller, underrated companies with promising financial indicators, like low price to earnings P over E ratios. These are often the companies big players might bypass because they're searching in the noisy bazaar. Remember, in Munger's world, it's not always about having the largest bat, but knowing precisely when and where to swing. Venturing into the less traveled paths of smaller markets might be your ticket to unlocking more significant rewards. Before we venture further into the realm of wise investing, please take a moment to support our journey together. If you're enjoying this treasure hunt through financial wisdom, smash that like button, subscribe for more golden nuggets, and ring that notification bell so you won't miss out on any illuminating insights. Ready for more gems? Let's dive in with the art of bold moves at the right moment. At the heart of Munger's philosophy lies a mantra of patience interspersed with moments of audacity. It's akin to a lion's hunt, long hours of waiting, followed by a sudden bold charge when the moment is just right. Munger impresses upon us that in the vast landscape of investing, while excellent opportunities are as elusive as shooting stars, their rarity is what makes them so valuable. Delving into the world of baseball once again, Munger draws parallels with Ted Williams, a legend of the sport. Williams wasn't known for swinging at every pitch. Instead, he had a happy zone, a spot where he felt most confident of a home run. Whenever the ball ventured into this zone, Williams swung with vigor, and more often than not, he hit it out of the park. His strategy? Wait patiently and don't hold back when the perfect opportunity is in sight. 
The investment realm follows a similar script. While the market constantly buzzes with activity, most of it is just noise. The real challenge is to discern the genuine signals from this noise. And once you detect that once in a blue moon opportunity that aligns seamlessly with your strategy, that's your cue to step up and take a significant calculated plunge. However, a word of caution. Bunker's Council isn't an invitation to reckless gambling, far from it. It's a nudge towards preparedness and a reminder to act with conviction when the stars align. The lesson here is twofold, the virtue of patience and the courage of decisiveness. In the delicate dance of investing, knowing when to wait and when to leap can make all the difference. Mastering the game by keeping a tight focus. In an age where financial gurus often preach the doctrine of diversification as a safeguard against market uncertainties, Munger's approach takes a radical detour. Instead of casting a wide net, he advocates for a sniper's precision. His belief? If you know the ins and outs of a select group of investments, you stand a better chance at significant returns. Drawing inspiration from his playbook, Munger reveals an astonishing fact. The lion's share of his family's prosperity rests on merely three investments. This isn't simply by chance, but a calculated decision. With a significant stake in Berkshire Hathaway, Costco, and a fund orchestrated by the adept Li Lu, Munger doesn't just put his money where his mouth is. He lets it flourish there. According to him, concentration fosters on intimate understanding, a relationship even, with your investments. Such closeness often culminates in clarity and confidence in decision-making. Am I comfortable with a non-diversified portfolio? Of course I'm comfortable. If you think the mongers, I care about the mongers. The mongers have three stocks. We got a block of Berkshire, we got a block of Costco, we have a block of Lilou's fund, and the rest is dribs and grabs. So am I comfortable? Am I securely rich? You're damn right I am. <laughs> For a real-world embodiment of this philosophy, Munger brings John Arriaga's story to the fore. Not a household name, but a heavyweight in the realm of real estate, Arriaga didn't seek properties across states or continents. Instead, he had a laser-like focus on a minuscule territory, a mere mile radius around Stanford University. Yet within this small sphere, Ariaga wasn't just a player, he was the game. By diving deep into this niche, he didn't just amass properties, he cultivated unmatched expertise that became his golden goose, ultimately catapulting him to global wealth. Munger's wisdom resonates with a profound simplicity. Instead of being a jack of all trades, why not master a few? By honing in on areas where you have an edge, you're investing not just money, but depth, understanding, and conviction. The depth of knowledge might be the most potent hedge against market unpredictability. I was working with a tiny, tiny, tiny amount of money. And so I would pour through volumes of, of, of businesses and I would find one or two that I could put $10,000 into or $15,000 into that was just ridiculous. They were ridiculously cheap. And obviously, as the money increased, uh, the, the universe of possible ideas started shrinking dramatically. Unlocking the secrets of investing, especially for minds as illustrious as Charlie Munger's, is akin to finding a map to hidden treasures. Munger's perspective on investments challenges the oft-touted paths and prompts us to reevaluate and refine our strategies. It's a stark reminder that immense wealth doesn't always stem from massive capital, but often from wisdom, patience, and the audacity to tread less traveled paths. Benjamin Graham, the father of value investing and a mentor to Warren Buffett once said, the stock investor is neither right nor wrong because others agreed or disagreed with him. He is right because his facts and analysis are right. This encapsulates the core of Munger's teaching it's not about following the crowd, but painstaking research, discipline, and sometimes taking the contrarian view. We're good at lifelong learning. Warren is so much better in some ways in his 70s and 80s than he was younger that it's almost awesome. 
if you keep learning all the time, you have a huge advantage. And, and we, we both just like it. And we have a wonderful group of friends. Really wonderful. From whom we can learn a lot. For those of you inspired by Munger's insights, this might be the beginning of a transformative journey in investing. As you forge ahead, absorbing knowledge and refining your strategies, remember that the path to financial success isn't a sprint, but a marathon paved with diligence and informed choices. And while we're on the subject of journeys, why not make us a part of yours? Please like this video if this deep dive into Munger's world resonates with you. Subscribe to our channel for more insightful content and share this wisdom-packed video with others who might benefit. Together, let's learn, invest, and grow.